Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Always pay attention to your consumer demographics, to your consumer. Basically, pay attention to the people who support your business. Pay attention. Yeah, you want to work your business and everything, but your consumer demographics are very important. What are your consumer demographics? Basically, uh, the people who are going to buy from you. Like, let's say that you make vegan cookies. You got to pay attention to that demographic. Who who are the people who want to normally eat uh, consumer uh, vegan cookies, rather? Who, who are going to consume them? All right. Straighten that out. <laughs> But who are going to normally support your business? Like, I had to pay attention uh, with my book, Nice Guys and Players. I had to pay attention to the type of men who would buy it and what's going on otherwise in that general field. You know? I had to pay attention to all that stuff. Like, people talking about incels. I was knowing about incels, like, last decade, early, before they became a big thing in the news and mainstream media. Why? Because those were the type of people who would either support my book or put it down. You know, I had to pay attention who was going to buy it and everything. And that's how you got to look at it. Who's going to, whatever your business is, the people who support it. Now, if there's a change, like say you're in a certain neighborhood, right? And you have a brick and mortar and you have a certain type of business. All of a sudden, people in that area no longer buy that business. Like in my area, there was a place that had like all these like uh, motorcycles and uh, you know specialty type of uh, carts that would go over land and everything they would they were selling. They're out of business now, but there's been a change in the people who live in this general area. Now, one thing in this general area I've seen is a lot of dogs, a lot of pets. A whole lot of them. Therefore, somebody, there was a pet store that recently moved in in uh, one of the plazas near me. Because, and they want to do well. Because I see dogs, like when I'm sitting in this office I'm sitting in now, I see dogs always walking by. So pet food, stuff like that. You know, but what if you're in an area that, for whatever reason, they don't have a lot of pets? You know, you got to pay attention to that. Like, your demographics are everything. In fact, many economists, the economists I'll pay attention to the most will talk about demographics because it's who's going to buy them. Like, there's a major, major thing talking about fertility and everything, right? Women not having as many babies, and even with the abortion bans in some states, abortions actually increased. All right. And people will say, well, okay, paying attention to it, but what about people who uh, have baby clothes and everything? Like at one of my, like at a local department store, I noticed they got a lot of toys, but they don't have a lot of baby clothes. So they paying attention. Yeah, there's some kids being born, but not as many. So they have more toys for the kids that are around. You know, always pay attention to that. That's very important for your business. What's going on? In fact, when I was working at that same department store, I noticed, I'd never forget, we had all these winter coats out, but it was warm during the winter. The demographics who normally would buy coats, they didn't have to. You got to pay attention to all of this when you're in business. That's very important. That's very important. Those are the people who are going to buy your stuff. When I had a book stand at this uh, flea market. Now, flea markets are very big now, but back then, eh, they were all right then. I had to pay attention to who was coming in and out just to know, okay, what type of books should I get? What type of books? What, I had to cater my books, my book sales to the people who were coming in, to the demographics. You know, that's very important. Like, if you want to set up, like, it's not so bad online. Even though you still have demographics, I'm going to get into that in a second. I'm going to get into that in a second, right? Yeah, hold on for a second. Make sure my stuff acting right. Anyway, I had, I, I'll get into that one in a second. But just overall, like if you're going to have a brick and mortar or location type of business, you need to know who's going to buy your stuff. You need to know it. Like another example, got an organic store in the area. 
and got an organic store in the area. All right, that's because there's some people who support those type of stores, like the Sprouts, the Whole Foods type of stores, Trader Joe's type of stores. We got people who moved into the area, got a yoga studio. Okay, got a few yoga studios. There's a lot of people who do yoga. You got to pay attention to that, but they weren't around at first. They weren't around at first. Like whenever I see a type of store, I'm driving along somewhere and I see some type of store being built, rest assured I know that the company has paid, paid a lot of money to figure out who's around there. And plus me, trust me, they got like reports. You got companies that do nothing but reports on demographics. And they'll charge a lot of money. They'll charge up to five figures depending on the company. Even though, and it's still like uh, some stuff like lower price you can still get. Like if you're going to set up a store somewhere, a brick and mortar somewhere, one, try to find a report for the type of people who live in that area and what they go for, the amount of money, everything. You know, trust me, they can, they can track it. Trust me, they trust me when I say they can track it down to your zip code and stuff. And there's plenty of free stuff if you want to pull it all together online saying, okay, the people in this area have college degrees, the people in this area don't, and all the things like that. You want to pay attention to that. That's with a brick and mortar. Even when you online, I mentioned I was going to talk about online, you have an online business or website, you need to see, okay, where do I need to advertise? Maybe I need to do something on this site. Like, it's a little bit better online because you get a big amount of people. But, like, if you want, like, one of these messages uh, on one of these uh, social media sites or something like that, one thing, if you do get ads, uh, they will be shown to the right people. You know, you just, you just got, all you have to do is make sure your stuff is shown to the right people, the people who are going to support your business. But you got to pay attention to it. You got to say to yourself, okay, who's going to buy this? Like if you got something, uh, like I know I support like natural hair, the natural hair movement and everything. And I would go to natural hair shows. I would pay attention. Like you got, you can, you can find shade, but like crazy, but the demographics, they support that. All right. So, you know, or I remember someone was selling a, uh, something that's f specifically for locked hair. You know, but they had to study the demographics. Their demographics are simple. Who wears locked hair? Like whatever you have, you set up a business, you need to have, you need to know who's going to support it before you get into business. Don't just get into a business. You might love it, feel good about it, but you got to do your due diligence and find out who's going to buy from you, who's going to support that business. Demographics. Like if you're looking at the economy, like a lot of stuff that's happening, they talking about the economy now. I'm just looking at the demographics. It, yeah, it makes a big deal. That gets into some political stuff too, like the fertility. You know, a lot of women not having children, and uh, especially in Western countries, that's going to affect it. Because I'm gonna tell you what. Think about it on multiple levels. Like just that, just the demographics right there. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna give you a, a political uh, bonus. You don't have the children being born, right? That's going to affect uh, formulas, everything dealing with children, clothes, everything of that nature. Toys, it affects the toy industry. Not as many kids buying toys, you know? Yeah, they still have the toys out there, but they're a little bit harder to find. Uh, you know, young people who are going to work in some of these restaurants, it's, it's not, and then... You know, a lot of people talking about pensions, they, they really pay for by younger people. You know, a lot of people can't, a lot of businesses, they might not be able to offer pensions the same way to support Social Security. It's so much, and it still comes down to demographics. So anyway, I want y'all to think about that. In the meantime, let's go make that money. <laughs>